Happy Monday, Boone. So, if you die, then I get into witchcraft and bring you back to life. That's what we were just talking about via his text. Hey, man. Hey, Roxy. Remember, what were we talking about? This ain't the weekend for that, right? She finally... She didn't even eat everything, but she ate some. Uh, said, no, 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 you're okay, you're fine. I'm gonna go shower. But, uh, I started water for tamales and me escopi junior. I think I only make two to eat while I go to work to tide me over. And then I shower. Believe it or not, I only slept uh, three hours last night. I'm not trying to have coffee two days in a row, but uh, since it was only three hours of sleep, it's kind of a long drive. If there's traffic, it'll feel like a really long drive uh, back. And last year in August, um, that's when I had my little traffic accident, my little fender bender from falling, not falling asleep, but like nodding off um, uh, in traffic because I was super tired. So yeah, I have a second cup of coffee. I've, all, I've been very, very, very cautious not to like let myself be that kind of tired since then. And so one year of punishment is up. Two more to go, insurance company. I still need to learn this lesson, financially, apparently. But I'm not bitter. Mm. I was gonna eat the two tamales on the way, but you know what? Tamales aren't travel food, and I know that. And I wanna take a minute to wash the plate and the pot anyways. These are all my goods. I only found a couple plums, which I was most interested in. But you know what? Kumquats are just another version of grapes. They're the they're the candy of the citrus world. I'm satisfied with my haul. <laughs> like maybe half a bag. That's all I need though, because too much and eh. oven is off. So, because that's something I was like, kind of concerned with while I was at Berlin's when I was sleeping there. I folded your mom's laundry because it was in the dryer, but I was doing my laundry. She actually suggested it to me that I do my laundry, which was actually smart. So... Uh, uh, see you, Suma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you know that I'm leaving because I'm sure your soup's concerned. Bye, Peanut. And bye, Roxy. Alright. I lock the door. That's good. Fruit. Stove is off. I double checked yesterday. No water was running because I didn't want that to be something I was thinking about. Okay. The door is locked. So, we're good to go, man. You don't have to worry about having forgotten something. So, my... Alright. My proudest moment of the weekend was herding the, uh, the, that loose turkey back into the doggy. Hey man. Was herding that um, that turkey back into the fence area because we all know me and turkeys. We're not fighting. We just, you know, 
we don't need to be in the same cage together. Um, I was approved to go to MAPS. They texted me. Um, my, my recruiter said we're, we're good to go. Um, I just have to redo my fingerprints and figure out what day is good for me. So, but also, now that I don't completely despise my job, uh, like these last few months have, well, actually this whole time you and I have been apart. It's been not the most fun. And if I go to the army, that's what we're signing up for, is having this happen probably a few more times, you know, over the course of 16 years. And so, I don't know. Like, now's my time. If I'm gonna go, I have to go now. And I think that's good for us. I think it's good for our future, it's good for money, it's good for a job. Maybe I could negotiate a salary, because I feel like I would work better with a salary than hourly. Although I understand, I get the benefits of hourly, and, but I think I will, I can get paid a little bit more knowing that I'm gonna put in all the hours I need to, to complete these like tasks and things that I have come in my way. The only reason I don't complete them is because overtime is kind of frowned upon. Like, if I need to get it, it's okay, but it's kind of, you know, try not to get overtime sort of thing. I've, either option, if I go or stay, are good and have their drawbacks. Like, if I stay at this civilian job, then there's the chance that it goes under. You know, it's, it's somewhat young and they can run out of funding and they may not get bought by a larger company, which is their goal. And that's the downside. But, you know, I just said all the benefits also. And then we know the downsides and the benefits of military. It's just, <sighs> my boonier. I, want, I really wanna know what you think. And I know you, you would let me just decide what I think is best for me and what I think I can handle best and all that. But what sounds good to you, what sounds best to you, for this stuff, you know, like, because I'm trying to think of, it's hard to, like, consider everything of how it's going to be when we have a kid, which is a thing, like, we're going to kind of have to put that off for another year, I'm ish, I'm guessing, um, if I go to the army. Should I do weekend warrior style? You know, Junior? Maybe I want that? just so I still have that, you know, fulfilling feeling and it's easier to go active if I have to, um, if this company does kind of not work out, which is not anything I foresee or don't foresee. I'm just saying sometimes that happens. I'm sorry I'm talking so much and it's kind of boring. I guess I'm just thinking out loud. I'm gonna go redo my fingerprints today and I'm gonna figure out a day for maps and even knowing that, you know, I'm kind of questioning it now. I was all about it before because the job was not satisfying in the least and now that I'm in the rhythm of it and I'm, I understand things, I think differently. That's all I have to say about that. I wanted to say, I also think that you think of things sometimes more simply when I start thinking of too many things uh, you know, like, I know I can think of it too far, but it's like, you know, it's a big thing. It's our future, you know? Like, how do we want to live? What is our lifestyle? You know? Maybe we just take over your mom and dad's nursery for a few years or something after they go to Mexico, because it's gonna happen in like, they're probably gonna go to Mexico by around the same time you're done with, uh, with Navy, right? But I really do wanna know just what you think or, you know, if you were to rank the options or, I don't know. Cause I'm really torn. I'm caring. <laughs> we're on the Mira Mesa Boulevard. <laughs> the coffee and tamales, spicy tamales, want out. 
now. They wanted out for like 40 minutes and with traffic it took me maybe two hours. Well, I left at 6.30. Took an hour and a half to get here. So that's how that's going. But I'm gonna be home by 8.15. And that gives me 15 minutes to unload the car and start heading to work. I like that things are working out smoothly because it said it could have taken anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours and 45 minutes to get here. That's too much variation, man. I went to FedEx and on the opposite side of the block across the street by that Aldi is the recruiter. That's where I'm going. Gotta do my fingerprints and finish some a little bit of a packet and can schedule my time for maps. <laughs> so I walked over to the bombs area. I didn't need anything, but I still wanted to, you know, walk a little extra before I get go home and do my videos tonight. So I got a beef jerky stick. Made it all worthwhile. Ah. Okay. Now that I'm home and I took off my shoe. I can't even see it really. This whole section right here is swollen. And I can't tell if it's gonna be a bruise or. Well, I guess that you can kind of tell. I'm inflamed, Junior. Inflamed. I wanna get like a sewing needle to pop it. Just because the skin is really tight. I guess I could try and put broccoli on it to bring down the swelling. But I want to go to the extremes first. I just want to... Lucky for my foot, I couldn't find my needle, so I resorted to cold temperatures first. Okay, I have to put my feet on the pillows because the floor makes the camera adjust thinking that it's yellow. Like, everything looks yellowy. You can't really tell, but... So I iced this for maybe the last 30 minutes and it's still swollen. I'm thinking it must be a spider bite or something, but I think that now because I have a little swollen section right here also this one doesn't hurt it slightly itches but it's on the inside of my foot and I'm clearly gonna have to drive tomorrow which isn't a problem I just would like these things to go away 